What the heck? It's not supposed to look like that. Hey, come here. Ringo. She's really loose. Her teats haven't filled out yet, but her bag or udder is pretty big. Good evening, it is Thursday. Been a while since I videoed, I guess, a few weeks. Um, I got this sheep barn pretty much set up, kind of, more than it was. I got most pens set up. These are most of the ewe lambs. There's three or four that are still out with the ewes, but they weren't. I was crutching ewes the other day. And I had brought, as the ewe lambs came in with the ewes, I just sorted them off. So there's three or four that are still in with the ewes that didn't come in. Of course, the rams are still in here, as always. Um, this ewe over here, hi buddy. She's the pregnant one. She's due this coming Wednesday. So, just, just less than a week now. And she's showing it too. Hmm. This you also went down the other day. I guess it was like a week ago now. Can you get up? There you go. She's been getting up now. She's still off on that leg. She won't use it. But she's got pretty good weight on her yet. And she she moves around good. She eats, drinks. So it's just that leg now that there's something wrong with it. What are you doing? Look at what you did to that panel. What the heck? It's not supposed to look like that. What did you do? That does not look healthy. Like, at all. What the heck? You did that, because it's kicked that way. So you did that. That was not him. Quit trying to blame him for it.
Good morning. It is Sunday morning. So it's actually really nice out this morning. It's got to be at least 20 some degrees. I don't know. I didn't look, but it's pretty nice. Today I'm hoping to get some more used crutch. That's the one that's due in like three days or something. She's pretty well bagged up. I assume she'll lamb on her due date or after. I don't think she'll lamb before. She doesn't seem that ready. And of course the injured or sick you or whatever. Then the ewe lambs. There's a few of them. They've been on green for like two weeks. So I don't know why but this one right here and that one just kind of stand and watch everyone else eat green. I mean they eat hay fine and they drink water and that. They just don't eat the grain. I don't know why. And these boys, I checked them for weight and they're actually keeping really good weight on them. These rams. They're only getting like a pound of grain, which that's awesome. I'm hoping to get a whole bunch of used crutch today because they're doing like a month. And I think I've got 20 some left to do, which isn't too bad. I did like 15 the other day, last weekend actually. This is Ringo. I got him over Christmas break. Hey, Ringo, come here. Sit. He is a nine month old border collie, of course. Hey, come here, Ringo. He comes to his name pretty good. He's not 100% bought with the sheep yet. He kind of just wants to pester him. Hey, Ringo, what are you doing? Hi. But he's doing good so far. Hey guys, it is now Monday night. I completely forgot to video yesterday while I crutched ewes. But I got all of them done except this hurt one here. I didn't crutch her just because I'll crutch her if she gets closer and that. If she actually bred and stuff like that. And then I grabbed some of the ewes that were a little lighter weight. And I threw them in this pen here just so I can get them started on more grain. Otherwise in the morning what I do is those ewes are out there. I let those two into this little pen right there. And then I let those ewes in the grain over here. But little Miss Pregnant is starting to hobble around a little bit. So she's due on Wednesday. Was that two days away I guess? So yeah, she's big. I will give her that much. She's really loose. Her teats haven't filled out yet, but her bag or udder is pretty big. So I've started doing 2 a.m. checks on the camera. I've got one up there and there's one all the way down there. But I might do a 12 a.m. and a 4 a.m. or a 1 and 4. I don't know. I'll see what I want tonight. But she's awful close, I guess. I'm going to go over to the old lambing barn and I'm going to set up a, what do you want to call it, a kit thing. So if she lambs, I can grab it and bring it in. There, I'll set up. Got my j -Lube powder, gloves, towels, Nutri-Drench, iodine, and then a weight, weight scale. I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't figure out what it is. So this is at least the bare minimum. So if that ewe lambs, I'm going to put it down there just to keep it summer warm so this stuff doesn't freeze. 